Yeah, my name is Octavian Msongamonja, and uh, once again, I'm very happy to be at the Inspiring Better Businesses uh, offices. And uh, today, we'll be talking about uh, business relationships. Uh, relationships in business are very key because, um, again, you know, people buy from people. They don't buy from businesses. So for you as a business owner or as someone who is running a business, you need to make sure that you uh, maintain good relationships, you network with people, so that way uh, uh, you guarantee your business to be able to go far. And uh, the kind of business uh, relationships that I want to talk about today is, um, you know, customer relationship with your customers, relationships with your employees, and then uh, something else that um, uh, it's a business principle, but I also term this as another form of relationship is business owner and a business itself. You know, the relationship between the business owner and the business itself. And, um, you know, I grew up in Tanzania, in a rural area. I lived there in a village for about, until when I was about 11 years old. And um, one of the things that people back then, I didn't have any knowledge or, yeah, knowledge about business. And right now, looking back, I see like the, um, you know, uh, some of the business people in that village, Okay, we had only two shops, and the two shops were like miles away from each other. So like, my, for example, my mom would send me, go to the shop, I'll go to the shop, and uh, you'd be told maybe the, the, the salesperson is in the shower, so you have to go home, or maybe you have to wait there until whenever they come back, or if they go somewhere or they went to the hospital, the shop is open, but you have to wait. And that was that era, that time. I was able to go back to the village. The things are different. Now there are more shops, there's competition. So the business owners could not be able to, or they cannot be able to run the same way they used to run, you know, in the, in the, in the past. And um, so things have changed. So relationships are more key, because now there's more like, uh, you know, the goods that you're providing or your business is selling, people are able to get it from another shop or from an, a different business or maybe they can get a uh, substitute goods. So it is very key that you maintain the relationships with, together with, you know, with your customers as well as your employees. And um, um, again, uh, going back to you know, uh, uh, my, uh, my growing up uh, uh, experience, my life experience, one of the things that, uh, um, um, you know, just going back to Tanzania, one time I was in Dar es Salaam, which is the capital city, and I went to the shop. And um, this, I don't know if that lady was the shop, was uh, the owner of the business, or I, t I tend to believe not. Uh, maybe she was like uh, an employee. And I was at the shop standing there, and she was on the phone for almost like five minutes waiting for her to serve me. And after five minutes, maybe six, I decided to leave because she wasn't like paying attention to me whatsoever. So I decided to leave. And um, that is... Whoever owns that shop has lost that business for me. And I don't know how many people, you know, maybe who came during that day or another time who left and how much business he has lost because of unmotivated employee. So maybe because maybe they, they is, our employer does not treat her well or maybe their relationship is not that good. So people need, you, you as a business owner, you need to have, a, you know, uh, help your employees to find meaning in what they do, to be uh, help them to be motivated, to look, to be looking forward to come to work in the morning. You know, they they need to know why they do what they do, and they need to find motivation in what they do. They should know that you know this is, you know, uh, uh, this is the best that you know they can. They've decided to put their time into. So um, I want to share some of the things that will help you as a business owner to uh, build a strong um, uh, business relationship with your customers. One of the things that I, uh, I want to share is you need to be very, uh, you need to be resourceful. And one of the things that you can do to be resourceful is, you know, sometimes people can come to you depending on what you do and the size of your business. Sometimes you might not be able to meet the expectation of your customers 100%. If you know someone else who is able to do better than you, please, uh, you can refer them. Like, please, I'm no, I know that 
I can meet your expectation maybe 60%, but I know someone who can meet your expectation 100%. Most of the time as a business people, we think like we're losing business, but actually you will uh, you'll be surprised because that person, you have won his trust or her trust, and they'll be able to do uh, referrals. They'll be able to give you referrals, and they'll be loyal to you because you've been able to tell them the truth. You know, to admit that my product or my service cannot be able to fulfill your need 100%. And then uh, something else is, um, you know, just be the best that you can be. Because once people are able to understand, for example, Octavian, whatever is giving me, that's the best that I can get anywhere else. You are able to uh, uh, create that credibility to your customers, to your employees, like what we are getting here. This man or this business is doing the best to give us the best, to create the best environment, to give us the best services, products. Then people will trust you. The people will be willing, your employees will be willing to come and work. Your, uh, um, the customers will be, you know, will be willing to come back again and again and again. Because once again, you know, depending on the size of the business that you have, you know, one of the key or one of the problem that most businesses have is they spend a lot, they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars in advertisement to get people to the door of their businesses. But it's still difficult to find out whether you'll be able to get, you know, the, uh, uh, to get the, the repeat sales, to get the repeat sales and also re customer retention. But uh, when you are able to build trust, you are able to... Uh, provide you know to be the best that you could uh, you can be and also provide value to your customers they know that you know uh, the value that I'm getting from this business I cannot get it anywhere else then definitely you know you'll have um, um, uh, uh, customers who are able to come back again and again and be able to refer other people to come to your business and then uh, one last thing that I can share is you need to ask for feedback ask your customers how, am I, how are we doing as a business? What do you like? What are some of the things that, you know, you want us to change, you know, so that we can make, uh, you, uh, you we can make your shopping experience even much better. So that way, like, it, 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 uh, it leaves room for you to be able to accommodate uh, um, uh, the opinions or the suggestions that your uh, customers as well as your employees uh, are offering you. Because, you know, employees, they want, you know, a, a, a friendly environment. They want some things that will, maybe systems that will help them, you know, uh, do their work easier. So if you constantly asking for their feedback and once in a while you are able to incorporate maybe in your strategic plan or business plan for the future implementation and customers or employees are able to see some of their opinions have been incorporated in your business, then they'll feel the ownership and the sense that you know we are part of that business we are the, we are we are valued our contribution is valued and once again as i conclude um you know people buy from people they don't buy from businesses so we as business people we always need to remember that like we need to be able to create um, um, uh, strong uh, relationships with other businesses you know either business to business or business to customers and together with our employees because once again uh, um, uh, there was a documentary I was watching by the founder of uh, Southwest Airline and he was saying like for him a customer is not a king because what happens if uh, a customer slaps your employees without no reason will you still say you have done well sir no you need to stand for your employees because if your employees are happy and uh, they're happy and they know why they come to work they'll be able to go out there on the front desk receive people with joy with happiness and treat them well and if they treat them well those customers will feel satisfied and fulfilled and they'll be able to come back again and even refer other people thank you very much for watching and uh, please let us know in case you have any topics that you want us to address in the future uh, uh, give us uh, your comments and we'll be very happy to uh, uh, incorporate what uh, you want us to either improve or maybe even the topics that you have that uh, if we are able to talk about them, uh, they will make your business better. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.